When you are good at something, you'll tell everyone. But when you are great at something, they will tell you. Winning is not everything, but making the effort to win is. If you're not going to go all the way, then why go at all? What do these famous quotes have in common? They all come from some of the greatest players and coaches in the game of football. The Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio celebrates football like no other. Right here in the cradle of professional football is where our story starts. Hey guys, welcome back to Class Cancel. My name is Michael Matthews and today we're at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Today we're gonna to take a look at the past, present, and future of football here at the Cradle of Professional Football, Canton, Ohio. Let's check it out. Today, these cars are valued at over $40 million. And over a span of 30 years, they were able to collect all of these cars. They have players from every single decade of professional football. 1894. I didn't even know they were playing football then. 1957. My parents weren't even born yet. Brian Burkhacker, Ray Lewis, Brian Dawkins. They have T.O. in the 49ers. Speaking of decades, this next gallery starts in 1920, and it goes all the way to today. So I actually never knew about the Akron Pros, and they literally were the first ever champions. Look at what they got for winning in 1920. Compared to the rings they get today, this seems like nothing. So the Akron Pros were the first ever champions in 1920 but they also were the host to the first ever African-American player who later became the first ever African-American coach in Fritz Pollard. He also is the only member of the Akron Pros to be enshrined in the Hall of Fame. So the Akron Pros were an amazing team. Let's go check out the rest of the guys. After learning about the decades on the first floor, we're on the second floor now to learn about the pioneers and record setters of the game. Let's check it out. After learning about some of the most iconic players and moments in professional football history, let's see how I compare to some past players. Wow, so me and Troy Aikman are actually pretty similar, just minus all the money and Super Bowl rings and things like that. So seeing how I shape up to some football pros here, Jack Shapiro is basically five feet. Richard Sly here, uh, just a little bit of a height difference, I would say. So I probably couldn't compete with some of these Hall of Famers. Let's see what else they have on the second floor. So here we have the most famous part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame Gallery. Reverend Clergy, how distinguished Hall of Famers Past and present, football fans. I'm actually starting to get goosebumps looking at these Hall of Famers. They have some of my favorite players, like Joe Namath, Michael Strahan, Ed Reed and Randy Moss, Kevin Green, and Ray Lewis. It's like seeing all of my favorite players in person, and I didn't expect them to look so realistic. I swear some of their eyes are following me as I move. Legendary coach John Madden said when the lights turn off here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame, all of the bus come to life and talk to each other. I have to find out how these are made. It starts with a clay bust. So he'll take measurements, physical measurements of their head. When he's done, they pour a thick layer of latex over it. 
They'll take those two halves, put them back together, and then pour hot wax in and spin it, and then slowly build up a mold. And then when they're finished, this is what the mold actually looks like. And they heat the mold to harden it. Now there's a place for bronze to flow into. The bronze is heated to 2600 degrees. After it's cooled, they break the mold off and start a cleaning process with hammers and chisels. He'll then take it back to his studio, sprays a chemical on it that when he applies heat with a torch causes it to rapidly oxidize. And that's where its color or patina comes from. And it'll take him 40 or 50 hours in total to finish it. So far, we've seen plenty of amazing on-the-field stories. Let's learn a little bit about the Game for Life. Now we are here at the Game for Life Theater, where a holographic version of legendary quarterback Joe Namath takes us through a few stories of some Hall of Famers battles on and off the field, like Warren Moon and how difficult it was to become a black quarterback, and how that eventually led to him becoming the first ever black quarterback enshrined in the Hall of Fame, and legendary Bills quarterback Jim Kelly, and how the toughest battle he's faced so far is the battle off the field with cancer. So we've obviously seen a lot of artifacts when it comes to professional football, but here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame, they even have the Black College Football Hall of Fame. Now we're here at the Lamar Hunt Super Bowl Gallery. I'm able to see the Lombardi Trophy that will go to the next Super Bowl champions. So it's not a requirement to become a Hall of Famer, but it sure helps. What I'm talking about is Super Bowl rings. As you can see in our first ring, we go from one diamond and 0.5 carats to 255 diamonds to almost 11 carats on our most recent ring. I always dreamt of getting my own Super Bowl ring, but unfortunately that's not happening anytime soon. But if I did, it would look a little something like this. See, I cover my diamonds with diamonds. Okay. I think that's good. Wow. I think I could imagine that right here. So there you have it. My very own Super Bowl ring. So there's so much memorabilia here in this Pro Football Hall of Fame. I wish I could take home with me, but unfortunately I can't. But where I can go is the gift shop. Let's head there now. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of our tour here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Be sure to subscribe to the University of Akron's YouTube. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Class Cancel, and we'll see you next time. Class is canceled. And thank you to the Pro Football Hall of Fame for having us today. I'm going to go check out some jerseys, so I'll see you guys next time. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. Do you want to gain experience in video production, professional social media, or working with real clients? Visit the UA School of Communications online or follow us on social media to learn more. ZTV, make media, make a difference.